What's going on everybody? It's Aurora Wyatt. You're coming at you with a brand new video and this isn't the typical thing that I like to cover. And it's probably not going to be a very long video, but I just want to make sure that all of you who haven't seen it yet can see that we finally got the leaks, or at least most of them, for OTS Pack 21. And not gonna lie, this is looking to be a pretty promising OTS pack. So here we have the ultis and the super rares. I know the ultis were leaked the night before, I do believe. They were like kind of standalone pictures and then I, now I think we finally got like all of the actual images, at least for the holo cards. And honestly, it's looking to be a pretty damn nice lineup. So obviously you got Photon Sanctuary off in the corner there, which is, I guess for like the Photon players after Photon Hypernova. You know, they didn't actually give any Galaxy Eyes Starlights in Photon Hypernova. Not even of the new boss monster, like that's crazy. Uh, then we also got Light of the Branded. Admittedly, Light of the Branded is not that great of a card. I haven't seen anyone play. I don't feel like you should. But I really like Mannequin Cat here. I'm a big fan of Mannequin Cat as a card. I was hyping it up all the time before it even saw that one top cut success with, uh, with I think it was Joshua Smith, right? But I love Mannequin Cat and Spray. It's an amazing card, not just for setting up those like problematic floodgates or not really problematic, but annoying floodgates, but it's also just really good. Like if your opponent ashes you or something, you can get a free Sprite Red or Carrot or a Tri Brigade kit in the case of Sprite Brigade. I, I like Mannequin Cat a lot. I'm really happy that she finally has a hollow printing and that she has another printing outside of what was it? Rising Rampage? I think that was her only other printing. So it's really nice to see her not only have a new printing but a hollow one at that we also got a purely happiness which it was a bit weird to see that it had a rare in amazing defenders and now it's a super rare so that was like the only real point i guess same with rescue ace hq but this card sucks i mean like even a rescue ace it's like a one of at best but at least happiness now has a super rare to go along with all of the other extra deck ones i just kind of wish they had it in general but then of course we have tier limits merly and hobness to start the really good prints in here these are probably going to be some of the more chase cards especially in terms of these supers because you know tier is still the best deck and then these cards only have commons otherwise and of course top players are going to want to bling out their deck as much as possible if it's a deck that they really want or if they really just want to flex i also don't know exactly what this counter is it's it's really weird because we usually get tokens but instead we're getting a counter and i'm very intrigued to see what this counter is for because i mean maybe it's for like this is very like off chance like it's very very unlikely but Maybe it's for Castra in order to show which zones are blocked. I don't know, but it's just so interesting to see counters because it doesn't look like it would be a predator counter because predator counters, I think, have a distinct look. Not to mention that counters are usually not supposed to be big. Like, unless you're stacking them under the card like an Xyz material, it's like, why would you have a whole card as a counter? So, I don't know, actually. It's definitely very interesting to see. Uh, and then obviously we have Scareclaw Cash right here as a super rare. I'm pretty sure I had a common in Photon Hypernova, so seeing it get a super is pretty nice. I also thought it was a common, by the way, same with Sprite Red here, because like, it, they don't look right, honestly. Like, you can probably tell what I mean through the video, but the, the picture looks like it was taken on a Bigfoot trail cam, like most official leaks are. But Sprite Red over here is obviously another really nice top deck rarity upgrade. It's kind of sad not to see Carrot get the same treatment, especially over a card like a Light of the Branded or Rescue Ace HQ. It would have been nice to see Carrot also got it to see, like, same with, like, Merle and Hobness, you know, Red and Carrot would make sense, but it's whatever. But obviously the thing that most people have been raving about are the ultis. So Rhino Heart, you can't really see much over here. It got, like, that little bit of a glossy foil there, but it might just be lighting. Uh, but between Fenrir and especially Blue, these are some gorgeous ultimate rares here. So... Maybe I'll try to open a new tab here. Hold up. Okay, so I have it zoomed in a bit. So you can see my bar at the bottom. But these are some absolutely gorgeous ultimate rares. Like, like look at the sunbeams or whatever coming out of Fenrir. That looks absolutely beautiful. But really, the swirls around blue are what everyone is raving about. And I can easily see why. Because I think this is one of the only scenarios in which the foiling not being on the monster is actually very beneficial. Because it gives it so much depth. Like... The swirls in the back really make it look like a nice gradient background, and then you have blue standing out so much on the artwork. I absolutely love this right here. It's such a beautiful, beautiful card here. It's also interesting seeing that all three ultis are main deck monsters again, like with Ray, Aluber, and, um, sorry, well, Ghost Reaper. Uh, because for a while it was mostly extra deck monsters so it's pretty nice to see that because having the main deck blinged out honestly is something that i really really enjoy but another thing i want to take away from this is that the fact that we all got scammed or most of us got scammed so easily in the last reveal because the last leak i think it was 
elf, unicorn, and maybe, I think it was Rhino Heart actually, I'm pretty sure, the Rhino Heart one ended up being correct, uh, but it ended up being like Rhino Heart, elf, and unicorn, which of course is wrong here, as we can see, so we all really fell for that, honestly, and so it really makes us like consider, we have to be very careful when it comes to what leaks we believe, especially because these leaks can end up causing like massive changes in the market, which, which, you know, I'm not a market channel, I'm not a financial advisor, and I didn't even get my TCG affiliate code that I asked for, but leaks Leaks can end up doing huge things for the market, which, like, sometimes that might be the intent, but I'm pretty sure most people just want to troll or get some sort of clout. But we do just need to end up being a little bit more careful, because otherwise we could end up getting scammed out of some really nasty purchases, or we can end up thinking the wrong thing, prepare, get something that we shouldn't have gotten because we were expecting something else to happen. It can end up being really messy, so just try and see if you can find a good source for your leaks, and by good source, I mean Bigfoot 180p trail cams are usually... Funnily enough, the best leaks, which is, I think that's really, like, hilarious to me. But with all of that being said, I think, honestly, this is a pretty nice OTS pack, especially after the absolute disaster that was, like, what was it, OTS 19? Oh, that was so bad. I think that most of the hollows in this set are something that'll end up having at least a little bit of value, or will be really nice to help you bling out your deck or your friend's decks if they're the ones playing it. And these ultis are going to be some absolutely amazing chase cards, with all three of these decks being either the best decks or some of the best decks in the near future. I don't know though, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below because that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, please sure to leave a like as LSP with this video and the channel and teach recommended. And if you like this content and want to see more like it, again, this is stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it is something that I thought I might as well cover so that I can help give people some information because that is the main point of the channel. Then perhaps consider subscribing because we're going to try to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Not to mention, it supports the channel more than anything else and it's absolutely free. Let me know your thoughts, by the way, in the comments, which of these reprints is your favorite? I know from the looks of it, we did end up missing a nimble angler which is going to be really rough and then obviously it, like unless it ends up being a common we missed gishki abyss as well which honestly i can see it more being a common than anything but let me know your thoughts what is your favorite out of these revealed hollows uh, i really do want to hear i think it'd be really awesome to hear people's thoughts but once again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one this is aurora signing off